and suddenly he's back in it. Other scores in the last 16. Gerard Green 2 1 up on Thanawat Turapong Paipoon. Joe Swale 2 1 up on Jamie Jones. 1 1 Ali Carter and Ricky Walden. One. Also 1 1 Stuart Bingham and David Morris. Mater, one. And the early impetus in this frame, very much with Mater. Not as planned. A lot years from it. <coughs> if you're unfamiliar with Aditya Mater, he's the world number 73. This season came very close to beating Ding Junwei in the qualifying round for the Wuxi Classic. Lost 5 4. Also lost 5 4 to former World Championship quarter finalist Jamie Jones in the last 96 of the Shanghai Masters. But he has qualified for the Indian Open. The big one for him, of course. He will be in Delhi in October after beating Xiao Guodong 4 2. Six. His best performance so far in a world ranking event, reaching the last 16 of the International Championship last year. Seven. Won six matches in that event. But you can't win any matches when you have a kick of that nature. That's not his fault. That was purely and simply a contact from hell. Terrible. Look at this. Oh, the black straightened like you wouldn't believe. Queuing down on the white wasn't easy. But that's the kind of point you expect Selby to knock in. <coughs> yes, when he reached the last 16 of the International Championship in Chengdu last year, well, in the qualifiers, he overcame the likes of Jimmy White and Jamie Cope. And in the last 32, over in China, he beat Stuart Bingham.
Well, this is a, a half chance, it's not easy. But the black is waiting. So close. He must have thought he got that going down. Never easy when you're playing those dead weight. Just wonder whether a DJ might take the risk and plow into the pack, get them open. He could uh, he actually could do that from the black. Smart looks on. One. Well, yeah, this is the shot. I mean, there, there are, there's two reds you can play on here, but I would suggest to go into them, get them open. You always run the risk, of course, of knocking one in a pocket somewhere. But well, that's not good. There's only two ways the white's going to go, is down the table like that or across the table. You must make sure you hit, you hit the meat of the pack. Wasn't too clever. But he wishes now he could have that one back. Attention, mate. Eight. Well, only eight scored. Should have been a lot more. It's not a bad safety, though. Possible shot to nothing here, with the yellow waiting, he's found it, well played, great shot. Well, it happened in the previous frame. It's happened again. Self-imposed snooker. This one, though, a lot more troublesome than the previous. Let me quickly tell you that with the aid of a half-century break, Anthony McGill has won the fourth frame against Ronnie O'Sullivan. So proving a tough nut to crack for the world champion. That match now locked together 2-2. Gerard Green, 3-1 upon Thanawa Tirupong Pai Boon. Michael White's advantage over Ken Doherty reduced to Well, not bad, but he has left a little tempter to the right middle here. Well, he'll be so annoyed with himself. As I say, as Phil has said, it's twice he's done that. Look at that average shot time. He was up to 37 seconds, actually. He had to measure. He's down to 34. 22 for Mark Selby. That's OK. He got to 16, 17, 18. That's Tony Drago country. Good pop. 
Well, as you mentioned, Phil, that all that was self-inflicted, really, from Adita. Still a good pot from there, though. Yes, especially after being pretty much frozen out for a frame and a half. Yeah, and it was a great red as well, wasn't it, to get in? Might not come to anything if Mark puts something together here. Ooh. Just seems Mark's That's gone off the ball one. a little bit here. It's played well to 2 0. Well, there's two things here. One obviously wants to win the match, but also he would like to win the match as swiftly as possible because there's not a great amount of time, not a, a big window between the last 16 and the quarter final starting. Finals begin at one o'clock in the afternoon Central European time, i.e. local time here in Firth. That's 12 noon in the UK. Well, if they go all the way, four threes, they could be running into each other. Well, I hope he hasn't done any damage with the tip, or to the tip. I don't think the fitter would be too happy either, <laughs> if he's cut the cloth. Yes, it does happen. I remember Peter Ebden ripping the cloth at the Crucible on one occasion, and the fitter's having to hastily put a new one on. He had to switch tables, didn't he, to finish that match? These cloths are pulled that tight, it doesn't take much. Just a little bit of, let's have a look at this again. Oh, there we go. It wasn't a foul shot, actually, because he caught the front end, uh, the front side of the ball. I don't think a foul was called, if I recall. Just a little bit of a repair work on the uh, on the tip there. Maximum reach there. Any more, he could have done himself a mischief. Nicely done. Well, I think Mark can see a little bit of this red, but not enough to get back to the top cushion. At least he's caught the right side of the red. But having said that, he's left one on to the middle. Well, this is risky for Adita. If he takes it on and misses it, he'll leave the one down the table. If it goes in, of course, he's probably bound to be on the blue. Decisions, decisions, eh, Phil? It's making those, the good decisions down there, keeping yourself cool under pressure. Well, he wasn't tempted, but he hasn't played it very well. That's an awful shot. And I think we'll see Mark go for this one. 
clearly wanted to hit that red a little thinner. Also thought the side might work more and take the cue ball towards the top cushion. Well, now it is. He wishes that he'd gone for the red himself, really, because he might have just thrown this frame away after that shot. Don't mind... Uh, still a good pop, but you don't mind a player knocking a good red in and making a ton off it, fair enough, but just to play a loose safety and then possibly throw it away. Especially when he, he just looked like he was starting to play as well when he got that third frame on the board. Six. Lots of running side on the cue ball there, and it really zipped off the bulk rail. Eleven. Now, I'm really sorry to say we won't be able to stay to see the end of this match live, but don't worry, because we will be back at 12.30 Central European time, that's 11.30 UK.